Today, you are blessed to have received a word from the Lord. Many of us may have been going through difficult times lately, feeling lost in the woods with no clear path in sight. But the Lord is telling us that we are coming out of the woods, out of the difficulty and affliction that we have been experiencing. This is not just a promise, but a reality that we can trust in, because God's word never fails. The wilderness that we have been experiencing may have been a consequence of our actions, but it is also a place of learning and growth. It is where we can be stripped of our pride and self-reliance and come to rely on God alone. In the wilderness, God speaks tenderly to us, teaching us who He is and who we are in Him. And as we come out of the woods, we will be stronger and wiser than ever before. But the Lord is also telling us that we have only scratched the surface of His love and joy. The blessings that we have received so far are only a fraction of what is possible. There is so much more that God wants to give us, so much more that He wants to reveal to us about Himself and His ways. And as we continue to seek Him and follow His lead, we will experience even greater blessings and abundance in our lives. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This verse reminds us that even when we feel like we can't keep going, when we're tired and weary, when we stumble and fall, God is there to renew our strength. He's there to lift us up on his wings like an eagle and carry us through the storms of life. He's there to help us run the race set before us without growing weary, to walk in faith and not faint. God has so much in store for you, and you have only seen a fraction of it. He wants to bless you abundantly, not just in material wealth, but in spiritual blessings as well. He wants you to trust in Him, to know that He will take care of you and provide for you. He wants you to walk in obedience to His will, so that you can share in the glory of His kingdom. When we place our hope in the Lord, something miraculous happens. Our strength is renewed, and we are able to soar on wings like eagles. But the journey to realizing that promise can be difficult. You are a soldier in the army of the Lord, and as a soldier you face battles every day. The enemy is constantly trying to steal your breakthrough, but you must remember that he is under your feet. The heel of Jesus has already crushed the serpent's head. You must go out there and fight your personal war with Holy Spirit wisdom, knowing the strategy to claim your inheritance. You are waging a war for everything that your ancestors didn't get, for everything that your parents didn't get. The baton has been passed to you, and it is your time to take your land, to move forward in your assignment. As you move forward, you must remember that God is with you. His angelic presence is here, and you need not doubt His power or His plan. He has sent you here to break free from the chains that have held you back, to claim your victory in the mighty name of Jesus, and you cannot stop until you have achieved that victory. This is the moment in which you decide to trust in the Lord, to hope in His promise, and to fight for your inheritance. You must remember that the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. He is the one who gives you the strength to keep going even when you feel like you can't take another step. In 1965, Muhammad Ali made history by knocking out Sonny Liston in just one minute into the first round. It was a moment that cemented Ali's legacy as one of the greatest boxers of all time, and it also holds a powerful message for us today. You see, life can be like a boxing match. We face challenges and obstacles that can knock us down, and we have to keep getting back up and fighting. But just like Ali, we have the power to knock out our opponents with a short, hard punch. We have the power to overcome any obstacle that comes our way. And when we do, we are crowned with God's goodness. He blesses us with prosperity and ease, and we no longer have to struggle. We become royalty in His eyes, and our lives become like a palace or a temple. But how do we get there? How do we achieve this level of success and abundance? It starts with faith. We have to believe that we can overcome any obstacle and that God is on our side. We have to trust that He will guide us and give us the strength we need to keep fighting. We also have to be persistent. We can't give up when things get tough. We have to keep pushing forward, 
even when it feels like we're not making any progress and we have to be willing to take risks. Just like Ali took a risk with that short, hard punch, we have to be willing to step outside of our comfort zones and try new things. We have to be willing to fail in order to succeed. My dear friends, I want to encourage you today that your hard work and dedication will not be in vain. The words, my chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands, ring true for each and every one of you. When you commit yourself to something, whether it be a project, a business, a relationship or a goal, do it with your whole heart and trust that God will bless you in ways that are beyond your imagination. God promises you unusual blessings, blessings that are like a tree that grows and bears fruit, blessings that you cannot even fathom. But in order to receive these blessings, you must trust in God's plan for your life. You must surrender your emotions, your worries, your fears, and your doubts to Him, and trust that He will guide you on the path to success. In this hour, God is teaching you not to depend on your emotions, not to look for Him in the noise of your life or the storms that surround you. Instead, He is calling you to seek Him in the silence, in the stillness, and in the depths of your heart. For it is within you that the kingdom of God resides, and it is within you that you will find Him. I know that many of you have been working hard and may have experienced setbacks, failures, or disappointments. But I want to remind you that God's plan for your life is greater than any setback, failure, or disappointment. He has promised us that we will prosper, that we will not labor in vain, and that His blessings will be beyond our wildest dreams. I also want to thank each and every one of you who have supported the channel by liking, subscribing, sharing our videos and joining our membership. Your prayers, your encouragement and your support mean more than words can express. And I want to share with you a personal message that the Lord spoke to me. He said that He knows what He's doing and that He has great things in store for each and every one of us. It takes a great deal of courage and faith to stand up for what you believe in, especially when others may not understand or even oppose you. But when you know where you're going and who is leading you, nothing can stop you from reaching your destination. It's not always easy to follow the path that God has set out for us. Sometimes we may be tempted to water down our beliefs or hide our true selves to avoid conflict or criticism. But the Lord reminds us to speak the truth boldly and trust in His blessings. We are all called to go deeper in our faith and explore the wonders of God's wisdom. We may encounter challenges and opposition along the way, but these are opportunities for growth and for God to prove His power and faithfulness. We are not backing down and we will continue to move forward in the name of Jesus. We must have determination and resilience in our spiritual journeys. God has a plan for each and every one of us and it's up to us to trust in His guidance and remain steadfast in our faith. We may not know the whole picture, but we can rest assured that God is leading us to where we need to be. So may you be encouraged to speak the truth, stay true to your beliefs, and trust in God's wisdom and blessings. May you be a soldier in His army, unafraid of the battles you may face. Type Amen if you believe in the Lord.